ตาแนนโอเค there has been a lot of debates about this um, specific technique that you do on the AeroPress. Can we really make a true espresso on the AeroPress? Or should we really stop saying that we're doing espresso on the AeroPress? This accessory that I made, I actually fabricated this myself. I made this maybe a year ago when I was starting doing this um, specialty coffee. And yeah, and I forgot about it. So. Today, I want to show you this. This is an actual basket from a porta filter that I have. I cut the sides. Here, I cut the sides of that. And then I flattened it. Right. And here is a modified AeroPress filter holder. I also cut the insides of this so that I can fit an actual basket inside this filter holder that we will eventually attach onto an AeroPress. Like a real AeroPress, right? In this video today, we are going to try and produce a real espresso. Is it a real espresso? Is it going to be a foamy, like, crema filled espresso when we do it here we need a few things to do this experiment so again we are using coffee from Kedo this is Brazil Mogiana Mundo Novo Bourbon Natural right and then we're gonna use a King Grinder K6 this is actually my espresso grinder so we're gonna dose it like a normal, when we prepare for a normal espresso. So I'm gonna need 18 grams for this. For the setting on the grinder, I'm gonna be using my last um, setting for an actual espresso machine that I have. So we're gonna be using 47 clicks on the King Grinder K6. Okay, to prepare this coffee for brewing, um, I will be using an Aurea Negotiator as a dosing ring because I don't have all my gears here in Manila. I guess it's gonna work. Okay. Let me just put the coffee here. So we can start preparing it. I'm gonna use a proper tamper like this one. So we're gonna do a light tap just to sink all the coffee in. and hope that we don't get um, channeling. Awesome. Um, let's clean up a bit. We just need this for timer, okay? And then we need this part here. And then this part. Oh, I'm gonna be using There. So this is um, this is actually a shower screen for. There. This is actually a shower screen for mocha pot, and it fits perfectly on top of the basket. Silicone ring from a uh, mocha pot as well. You can buy these separate because those are um, spare parts. Then we're gonna attach it onto the AeroPress. And it should fit nicely. If you're wondering, 
um, if I'm gonna press this onto this glass, yes, I am. This is a Love Ramex coffee cup. It is very thick. Yeah, I've used it, I've tried it multiple times before. And surprisingly, it holds up really well. In order for us to get a 36 ml yield, the same amount will be absorbed by the coffee. So we have 18 grams. Um, one is to two ratio is 36 ml. The same amount of 36 is going to be absorbed by the coffee ground. So we multiply it by four. So we have 72. So we're gonna put 72 ml here. Maybe do a pre-infusion. Start timer. Let's put 20 ml first. Let all the coffee soak in the water first. Right? And then we're gonna we're gonna pour up to 72 ml. Right. And now we're gonna press. Did we get crema? That is the espresso from the AeroPress with a real um, espresso basket, porta filter basket, adapted onto the AeroPress with actual pressure, boiling water. The grind size is the same exact setting that I used on my machine. What does this tell us? Maybe we need to. Um, increase the pressure so to do that we need to do a finer grind size or we can put more restrictors onto this maybe put a paper filter at, at the bottom of the basket I don't know but yeah this is the this is the product this is the product of that um, setup it tastes actually good um, yeah, it is actually really good. The thing that is missing from this equation, from this setup, is the crema, right? Um, I remember, I remember a year ago, I was successful to to have pulled an actual crema out of this setup. I I just forgot how I did it. Maybe I just added paper inside or. Um, so that we have a bit of a pressure release. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I have to figure it out again so that I can show you. Hey, um, the day after filming this video, I actually tried again because I was bothered. I, I couldn't do it. So I, I actually tried doing it again and I found the missing part. Instead, I used a pressurized basket to produce an actual crema out of an espresso. So, if you'd like to indulge me, here is the video of that. And, alright, so, if, if um, now that you've seen that you can actually make an actual crema out of an AeroPress, um, would you like to try it? Um, I did some modifications. I'm gonna show you right now. Here is what the um, what the setup looks like, and the modifications on the paper filter holder, and the silicone from the mocha pot that I used, together with the shower screen from the mocha pot as well. Right. So if you want to. Go out and try doing your own espresso out of an AeroPress. Um, yeah, I might be, might be, <laughs> I might be called out after doing this episode if it's even a real espresso, but it produces crema. So now let's go back to that video. Mm. 
basically this is the closest the closest thing that you can get to pulling an espresso like shot from an aeropress you can put water up ah, you can put water here you can put ice um make it an americano or an iced americano or you can put milk as well for now thank you so much for watching in the next videos i'm gonna show you more about coffee bye